Okay guys, is it just me or did he drop this trailer in the most inconvenient spot? Is it just me? Like if someone's trying to come around the fuel aisle, they gotta go over the scale if somebody's parked in the... Okay. Not sure what's going on, but if it's just me, let me know. going on people little Jeff here uh, picking up the next load going to Ohio this is vinyl siding this is a tarp load um, basically the way they load here we had a little briefing meeting with the loaders uh, they loaded three high and I guess four long but I don't think they're gonna put the fourth on there because the trailer's not long enough but um, basically okay you see the vinyl siding is inside these wood like casings like it's kind of crate Usually when a load has something like this, you're gonna put the strap on top of the wood and you throw it up there. How you do that is you just, you just throw it up there and we have our handy dandy uh, little pole here. You take your pole and you throw it up there and I'm holding the camera with one hand so I can't do it, but you lift the strap up with one hand and then you put the, put the pole under there and you just guide it onto the top of the wood and you just put it up there. And uh, basically, we're just waiting for them to load it. They're just loading, and uh, we moved. They told me to put my tarps up here on the side, so I put them on the side. And uh, they told me it's going to require eight straps on this because apparently this is a real sensitive load, so um, we have to strap it the way they tell us to. And basically, he's just loading it up. I think that may be the last one since he's putting it in the center. Generally, that's how they do it. If they put it in the center like that, that's probably your last one. But it's going to be a three tarp load. And that's pretty much it guys just be real careful with this stuff you don't want to have a cargo claim or nothing like that all right we'll check back in in a minute hey guys we are finishing up our walk around the truck stop uh, coming back to the truck we'll show you the low tarp so this is the low guys they tarped it for us. Well, they dropped the tarps. They didn't. They didn't really tarp it all the way for us. But we'll take what we can get. <laughs> but this is the load. It's 13.6. Just bungee like we normally do it. Yeah. And I just got to It's it's got a dip in it, so. It's a flapper. It's a flapper load. Yeah. <laughs> he and said, look at this truck. truck right there. Um, guys, basically all with this load, this load has a lot of a lot of space and gaps. And there's no way you can really fix that. So I mean if you get the tarp just right, you can you can pull it tight enough where it won't flap. Right. But it's, it's really hard to do it whenever you can't place the tarps up there yourself. Right. And not only that. You would have to have a ladder maybe and bungee it from the top and pull it out and down but yeah. since we can't do that the trick is is to make sure you cross thread your straps to keep this in yeah because if you had a bungee that was say for example bungee under the trailer say you did it like this now you got this coming out going down the road that's exactly what it's going to do so always if you have something like this for example Make sure you try to uh, cross cross thread your straps, and that that prevents a little bit of this. You know what I mean? Yeah, it so, keeps it from you know possibly this unrolling and coming out that, and side that's the trailer. On, that applies on loads that have this gap in between. Like you can see the slack in that. But you can see the corner, so we have pulled it as tight as we can. Yeah. You know, it looks like it's about to poke a hole in it. <laughs> yeah. And the trick also with that is when we go to pull these tarps off. We gotta probably take our pole and push up on the tarp first. You don't just yank your tarps off. Or you can, rip a hole in. or you can whip it up and get some air underneath it. Yeah, you take it out and you just keep whipping it and whipping it and get enough air in it, and it'll start blowing up, and then you pull it off. Yeah. That's that's pretty much it with this, guys. Also, guys, because I know someone is gonna say it, 
if you ever are going down the road and you see that you know your your front tarp is bubbling up or your your back tarp is bubbling up you can always throw a two-inch strap over it um just wanted to say that because i know somebody it might bring it up um you can always throw a two-inch strap over it if you feel that it needs it um if not you know just roll with it and just keep an eye on it as much as possible get along down the road Photoshopped or were her eyes really that lonely? Did she leave her hometown thinking she'd end up in LA? Did she break down in the desert and get stuck beside the highway? Get along, along down the road. Heaven can't be bought We still don't know what love is But we sure know what it's not Sometimes you got to get along Down the road We got a long, long way to go Scared to live, scared to die We ain't perfect, but we try Get along While we can't always give love the upper hand Paint a wall, learn to dance Call your mom to uh, show you guys this because we were getting a lot of um there's one of our million modelers right there see how pretty their trucks are mm -hmm. um i just wanted to show you guys this for uh been getting a lot of questions about like can bigger people flatbed and stuff like that and you can it's all about you have to build your strength up and stuff like that but you can do that on the job so i just want to show you guys how i get on the trailer i'm not gonna say my weight but i'm a lot bigger than i look on camera i guess but I'm young too, so, you know. But what I start with, you always want to maintain three points of contact. You know that from truck driving school. So I always put my hands here, both hands. That's two points, one and two. And then I put my foot up on the ICC bar. Now what I'm gonna do is I rock my weight up on the ICC bar and I put my knee up here. It's okay to put your knee on the trailer. I know some guys don't like doing that and they, they want to just throw their foot up there and hop up. Make sure you always wear jeans. Yeah, always wear your jeans and stuff like that. You can I, pull something trying to put your foot up on the trailer. for. <laughs> yeah, you really can. And um, you don't want to wear shorts because look at this wood. It's it's old, you know? And you might get splinters or something like that. And but always try to have, aim for the metal. And they'll have nails and stuff in them too. Yeah. So just be careful. Yeah, so my three points of contact is my foot and my two hands on the ICC bar. Now, the way my foot is positioned, it's kind of at an angle like this, so I'm going to rock up on my ankle and onto my toes and then throw my knee up here. That's the, that's the second position. <laughs> and then I basically take, I take my hand off because now I have three points of contact with my knee, my hand, and my foot. So I take this hand off the ICC bar and put it on the trailer. I take this hand because it was on the ICC bar like this and I turn it. So I turn my hand this way and I push up on my knee still maintaining three points of contact. So now I have two knees on the deck. So then I take my foot, then I usually tap the trailer with my next foot to make sure I'm up, and you just stand up. That's carefully. It. Carefully, yeah, carefully. <laughs> but that, that's pretty much how a bigger guy does it, guys. Hey guys, this is our load. Um, it is an elevator load, elevator escalator. I guess we don't really know which one until we get the paperwork, but um, it's going to Boston, Massachusetts. We are in Ohio right now. Um, 
we kind of talked this load up, but we usually get a load. We usually get an elevator load out of um, Ohio. So this is the load. We're not going to show how to um, secure it because we did in a different video before. Um, but this is it tarp. Little Jeff just got the paperwork. Um, it's not bad. I feel like we get better every time um, because they're always uneven. They will literally always be uneven. So just be prepared for that you know maybe we can add a bungee right there where that o-ring is but um yeah i think we did a pretty good job um and i wanted to show you guys this just so uh so it makes it a little bit easier out here you know if you are working for melton or if you want to come to melton sometimes you can't really tell if it's a two tarp or a three tarp you know um or a one tarp versus a two tarp so what i do um, I don't count the the length of the flap because usually, you know, if the load is 13.6, you're gonna need that flap. It's not gonna it's not gonna do anything for your length. So, um, if you're trying to figure out if it's a one tarp load, you can count the um, you know from the beginning of the load to the end of the load. You can count these little um, the little openings. Um, so for one tarp, it's 31. For two tarps, it's 62. So it's 31, um, 31 gaps or 31, whatever you want to call them, um, per tarp. So if we went from the back of this load, this is the back, um, and we actually have the flap over the back. So if you wanted to count it, it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57. So, so it's a two tarp load. It's under 62 um, spaces. So, you know, if it was a shorter load, maybe if it was just like this front half, it would be just one tarp because it would be less than 31 um, spaces. So that's just an idea, you know, cause we, I know we had a hard time uh, coming out here. Uh, the first time we ever came out here doing flatbed with Melton and we we didn't really know if it was one tarp or two tarp you know and sometimes we still can't tell so you just count it and then you won't have an issue especially because places like this they put the tarps up there for you you know you always want to put more than you need you know obviously you would put three up here if you didn't know but um you know it just makes it a little bit easier you won't have to put that tarp away and you also won't have to go back in there and get them to put it up there or you carry it up there on the flatbed um, if you if you thought it was only two and it ends up being three. So um, that's just a little way to do it.